Hi everyone and welcome back, I'm Snookis, today we're going to continue on our Europa Nussas campaign, Swedish Independence Mark II. Uh, last time we converted to Protestantism, we're, we're slowly in the process of uh, convincing the, the rest of our nation to uh, follow the right faith. Um, funnily enough, half of Iceland is already following our uh, religious footsteps. Uh, as I saw at, last, uh, at the end of the last episode, uh, Finland is looking to revolt soon, uh, which is unfortunate. It's still four years um, away, so it's not like it's gonna happen tomorrow. Um, I'm actually gonna place my troops there. I'm gonna hire a new general. A decent, really crappy one, but still decent siege. <laughs> so that's something. I'm gonna start it off here. Um, we're still pretty much just in um, maintenance mode over here, uh, trying to prevent revolts and fighting them down when they fire, and also making sure that we uh, convert all of our nation before the religious war um, crisis fires. And we're on a good way, good way there. We're soon to be over 50%. Unfortunately, for some reason, our Central Reformation has decided that it's more important to convert the Teutons, um, which are <laughs> a monastic order of all things, uh, than to help us uh, remain a stable country. So well, that's their choice, I guess. Okay, so the levy. Uh, Let's go with this. We have the money to spare, so. Um, yeah, sounds fine. Should we maybe increase our stability, which we bought up before, but which got lowered again? Um, because our king decided to die. Yep, let's do that. We just did. Okay. Um, okay, so it looks like we're about to have two different revolts fire, uh, which is unfortunate. Really, not really much you can do about it. There, there, there it went. So let's uh, make sure we don't get any major river crossings and then let's move down here. Um, we could get some more troops for our army, which, sure, let's let's do that, uh, which will get us up to 19, we should be enough to deal with this, especially since, now that I think about it, with the new fort update, if we were to attack over the water, since we have an active fort here, we would get the defensive position anyway. Um, Yeah, fuck uh, all of those guys. We don't have any religious. Okay, so our diplomatic is topped off. Okay, so here goes colonialism. Let's see if we can, we can't. Okay. Can we do something else with um, our diplomatic points? Maybe. We could um, embrace Danish and um, we could embrace the Norwegians as well. We're probably gonna conquer them someday anyway. So sure, since we're um, at the top anyway. <clears throat> so the discovery of the new world has heralded a new era of only not colonizers and colonized. Um, yeah, great. So let's see where it um, fired. Portugal, unusual. It never fights there, really. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. So we're gonna we're looking forward to uh, about fifty years before we get a chance to embrace it. That's gonna be great. Um, okay. 
Okay. So, um, if I'm reading this correctly, we ca we could boost our embracement of colonialism by starting to colonize. Hey, we gain a claim. Nice. And calm. Which is... This, maybe? Am I blind or something? Calm. Oh, here. Okay. Sure. If we ever feel like doing that, we could we could do that. <clears throat> so, um... So that's what we're gonna do, um, I think, as soon as we get ourselves up to um, Tech 7, so we get a new idea group. We actually lost the warrior. The, the lost battle, I mean. Didn't see that coming. Uh, we should keep this on, I realize, since uh, Finland might fire soon. Okay, since um, our Diplo is already in the top, we're gonna go for this, which also gives us more moral of armies, which is great, actually. Uh, for this battle here. We could take the new tech here, but we're not going to. Um, I'm actually thinking of investing them into development so we can become a new great power. Uh, and yeah. We might do just that. We're I'm gonna we're gonna wait until um, after we've stopped the Calix being so um, so mad about everything, and um, then we're gonna see if maybe we can do just that. I would really like a better better general. And I just realized we have um, so low influence on the nobles, so we can do that. Then we can fire our. Shitty guy. We actually have two guys. That's really shitty. So let's fire the mo most shitty guy. The more shitty guy. Which is which is actually older as well. Okay, we're gonna wait a turn or two uh, for some reinforcement. And then we're gonna try again. Okay, that's why they won. They have a really good leader. We should win this, really, unless we roll really shitty. We ro we rolled fine, and we won. Great, and uh, the revolt is done. So let's get over to Finland, prevent this um, revolt, which isn't looking to fire. So actually, let's um, let's not do that. Let's try to save some money instead, so we can repay the war with the loan we just got and. I'm an idiot for not making sure to do this in time. This should still be fine due to our Protestant Reformation Center, um, which is lucky. But um, yeah, that was that was badly handled of me. Okay, so anyway, Bremen, Oldenburg, even. Um, can I improve relations with Poland then? Bremen, Brandenburg and ourselves are the um, first three Protestant nations and uh, we are responsible for the spread of the religion. Okay. Crap. Shall do something. <clears throat> Okay, that's nice if we had any subjects. Oh, 
good. All right. We're slowly moving forward, converting all of the uh, all of the Catholic provinces. And I'm gonna take the administrative points and base tax simply because we want the administrative points. Okay, so we only need 180 um, points more, and then we can uh, fix that. So let's actually develop a bit. And I'm mainly focusing on getting. Um, Promises up to um, development 10 and 20 and so on, so we can get another building in those um, promises. Stuff like that. And now maybe we're just four development behind Aragon, so we're so we're close to be uh, actually that's great. Uh, we're close to be um, a great power, which will gives us give us some benefits so we can we could actually do that that mission wouldn't be that hard even Not like we're lacking in diplomatic power. Um, okay, so let's. I know this might look less than optimal, but we're gonna take the idea cost. Um, and I'm just find this by saying, by um, looking at that we're going to go for exploration. And when you're colonizing, time is of the essence. So we're gonna need as many ideas as possible for as uh, as few points as possible. So I'm gonna cheapen um, some prestige, nice. Make um, the, pre the cost uh, less so we can get more uh, more ideas. Let's um, send a spy over here so we can um, take more than just one province. Sorry, that's my phone. Just gonna... Uh, <laughs> turn it off. Okay, so Poland is topped off. And, okay, cool. Our revolts doesn't look like an issue at all, really. Um, finally, our capital seemed to be converted. I'm on the way to be converted anyway. <clears throat> um, yeah, okay. So this one is fairly crucial for um, a non-Portugal nation to colonize, but we're gonna go for Uh, I don't care about their opinion. Um, we're gonna go for the first three um, ideas and then we're gonna go for the tech so that we um, maximize our colonial range, which is already pretty substantive thanks to um, Iceland. God, I love. I loved our queen when we had her. I really want her back. Okay, so a new, um, another one, another. How mediocre characters. Um, so another. Um, 
lord uh, marriage here. Local lord, rather than uh, with another nation. Gustav Adolf sounds fine. Let's see what the personality is. Advisor cost. Uh, yeah, sure. That's always nice. Repaid all loans. Okay, so we can wait a few more turns before this becomes an issue. And oh come on now, just uh, a few more, a few more ones. Gonna spend some diplomatic points in the de in development. He has to uh, not lose them by uh, hitting the cap. Okay, so another two months. England is pleased with us, Poland as well, um, Livonia as well. Alright, this is looking um, promising actually. We lost an advisor now. That's uh, fine. Who do we want? More alarmists? I think so. Okay. So now we got a new idea group to choose from. And we're gonna go with exploration because we all know Sweden was, was so active in the um, colonial game in uh, real history. Almost there. We're gonna go with um, native coexistence because we're not really a nation that can afford to project much military presence over in America, both because of financial and manpower reasons. Mostly um, force limit reasons, but still. Uh, so native uprising minus 100%, which pretty much guarantee that there isn't going to be any native uprisings. Let's take the ducat. Um, yeah, the ducat cost. Okay, so what we need to do now is... Where are we? Where are my fleet? It's over here. Uh, so we're going to need to strip out three barks to Stockholm or something and we're gonna keep protecting trade, trade, trade here and we're gonna buy an explorer we're gonna fire someone else because we know well we can have four leaders because of okay cool North Atlantic coast we're gonna go with sea first, and then we're gonna go with coast. Okay, this is exciting. We um, <laughs> Danish devils. All right, who are you allied with? No one but your uh, Norway. Is that really sound of you two? <laughs> Okay, so freaking stupid. By the way, the new uh, expansion is looking to ex um, make Denmark more of an interesting nation. So that should be fun, a bit interesting. Possibly we will we'll, we will see um, a bit more um, powerful Denmark ruling uh, ruling North Europe a bit. Pro probably yeah, possibly even enforcing the Kalmar Union fully would be interesting. So we're coming up on um, time for a break here, and um, so that's, actually, that's actually exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a break here, and um, then we're gonna continue on the next episode with our exploration. So thanks for watching, um, you've all been great, please leave a like, it helps a lot, and um, please consider subscribing if you want to see more of my videos like these. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.